you got there? A little hickey. You can still see it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Why don't you put makeup on it? It's a good idea. I'll borrow some from Julie. Hey! Did I tell you I saw Karen's tits last night? No. Yeah. Right after you oh, left, man. Oh, oh, oh. She's getting out of the pool, right? And she's like, want to see what you missed? So she took her shirt off, she did a little shake. A little shake, huh? Mm-hmm. To dry off her nipples. Man, I watched her crush a beer can between those boobs. Let me tell you something. Those flesh buckets are way too big for the human hand. Are they deformed? Because, you know, sometimes when they get that big, one will be larger than the other. Or there'll be a nipple off to the side, or there'll be a stretch mark. They look pretty good to me. You know, I don't think she can wear a regular bra. I think it's got to be one of those big bra things you put in the front of a car. <laughs> no, I'm serious, so you can keep the, the bugs and the stone chips off her tits. Triple D, my favorite letter. No, they're too big. Shut up, too big. God didn't want girls to have big racks. He wouldn't have given us breast implants. <laughs> you know, I got the second base with her back in the day. Yeah, they were only a D-cup back then. But you know what? I did give her a hickey on her boob. I've done that. It's easy, right here by the ribs, right? No, 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 no. All the way at the end, by the nipple. It took forever. Blood had to travel a long way to get to the end of those hound dogs. She must suffer from poor circulation. Hey, you know, I got a hickey on my wiener once. Yeah, hurt like a mother. How'd she do it? Well, she sucked it. How do you think? Didn't you stop her? Well, would you stop a girl? If it hurt? No, no. It was one of those enjoyable pains, you know, like, uh, tickling. <laughs> you guys have got to stop by my work, man. I cannot believe they pay me to watch porn eight hours a day. I'm just afraid I'm gonna die in some kind of freak masturbation accident. Anytime you die while masturbating, it's kind of freakish. I mean, it's not like you're a shark tamer. No, no, no. I watch porn eight hours a day, but I can't release. So I got eight hours built up inside of me. So I take a porno home, you know, and I'm driving and I got the porno sitting on the passenger seat next to me. And, and I'm looking at all the girls doing, you know, doing everything. So I'm driving and I'm looking at the box and I'm not concentrating on the road and I'm just, I'm just afraid that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swerve into oncoming traffic, you know? And then the, the street's going to be littered with porn and semen and tissues. But my mother could not handle that if she read that in the newspaper. You know, it's better to die doing something you love than to suffer some crippling injury. Because then you got to be known as the guy who got a limp because he got hurt whacking off. The first time that I did it, I pulled back and it landed in my hair. And I just had a perm, so I couldn't wash my hair for three days. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, oh my god. god. One time I got it up my nose. <laughs> well, the first time I did it, I think I forgot to suck. Yeah, dude, I shaved it. You both shaved them? Well, hell yeah. But why'd you do it? Porno guys do it. it. Makes it look bigger, and it does. It looks a whole inch bigger. Yeah, and if a girl thinks she's getting seven inches instead of six, she'll feel seven. I don't care what they tell you. They cannot tell the difference between five inches and eight. It's all psychological. You know, when I'm naked with a girl, I always walk around with my stomach sucked in. It makes it look like white lightning sticks out just a little bit further. There is no substitute for size. I can do all the work. <laughs> well, my last boyfriend kind of suffered from... <laughs> well, uh, he lasted about a minute. That is so much worse than a four-incher. You know, and girls complain about guys that suffer from premature ejaculation. I mean, if it takes you three minutes to have an orgasm, you're not suffering from anything. You're just highly efficient. Yeah, I know. When a girl has an orgasm in three minutes, it's called amazing. That's why I hate whiskey, Dick. I don't care what anybody says. An Amish girl can suck a mean dick if she wants to. Yeah, those six fingers ain't just for weed in the garden. <laughs> Would you let a fat girl give you a BJ? No doubt. But my brother said fat girls do it the best. Skinniest girl your brother ever hooked up with still weighed 200 pounds. Exactly. Hey, do fat girls give good BJs? The best. They need the reputation to get guys. So I hear you're taking that Trish girl out tonight. Yeah. So uh, what's your story? You gonna get some ass tonight or what? <sighs> Trish is a prude. You better at least get chicken fingers. Chicken fingers? He'll have to buy that girl some lobster just to pull some tongue. <laughs> She's just a really nice girl. I don't understand why I have to try and hook up with her on the first date. I'd caress those breasts. A chubby dude, if you find a girl drunk enough to do you, you thank her, you thank God, and then you buy her a fucking pot roast, all right? <laughs> Later, assholes. <sighs> pot roast? Did you ever give a foot job? I've never even heard of it, but it's all Josh ever wants. 
I thought all that guys wanted was sex. What's a foot job? And it involves your toes, your feet, <clears throat> and his wang. Does it involve the anus? Not yet. I got a foot job. A what? A foot job. She was amazing, man. She'd never done it before. Her foot is like a jackrabbit, man. She's got this big monkey toe, right? And then her next toe is like long, and it kind of it kind of curves so she can really get up in there. Get up in where? Well, wait a second. Let me get this straight. You, you have her in bed naked. You don't have sex or get oral, but you go down on her and she has an orgasm. Don't forget the foot job. It was a hell of a foot job. I'm in bed with a chick. Either I'm getting laid or I'm getting slapped. That's it. I don't know, man. The foot job was pretty cool. Now, you know what? You should have just nailed her. She didn't want to have sex. Well, then you should have gotten oral pleasure. Now, once she took her shirt off, she was on the bottom. And then I was on top the rest of the night. She, she said she didn't like to be on top. No. She just didn't want to go down on you. See, when a girl stays on the bottom, she receives all the pleasure, okay? They're selfish. To a girl, foreplay means cunnilingus. And guys all think that foreplay means blowjob. Seijun was never like that. I mean, he never asked her anything. After a few months, I just did it. Well, you know what really irritates me about chicks? How everything in their lives revolves around getting some kind of attention. I know. It takes girls two hours to get ready to go out just so guys will look at them. I mean, they spend every moment of the day trying to get attention. That's all they do. Julie's not like that at all. Yeah, I know, but every other girl. I mean, it's like a fucking contest to see and get the most attention. That's why they never hang out together, because they're always jealous. I mean, if a guy looks at one, the rest start bitching, like, she is such a slut, and it's not like she eats, that's why she's so thin. And it's not like she's ever been to the gym. I mean, and the only reason guys like her is because she puts out. Every girl wants to be a slut, a dirty slut. I don't get it. I mean, you can spend hours trying to look good for a guy, but sometimes I think he'd rather just go drinking with his buddies. I would much rather drink than hit on a chick all night. Besides, you know, getting drunk is more of a challenge than picking up some college chick and, you know, slapping that ass. All guys do is talk about sex and look through perverted magazines. And then girls get mad at us for watching pornos. Yeah, they're jealous of other girls. That's why they never go out in crowds. Yeah, and if they do, it's always a hot chick and an ugly chick. And the hot chick gets all the attention. Yeah, and it makes her appear even hotter because she's walking around with some fat chick. And then the fat chick thinks she's actually got a shot of meeting a guy because she's hanging out with a hot chick. Yeah, and then that guy jumps on a grenade for one of his buddies, and all of a sudden she thinks that she can get hot guys. No, you were a grenade. Did you ever look in a girl's magazine? It's all advertisements for beauty aids. And the articles, 20 ways to get a guy to notice you. Yeah, don't be fat and ugly and we'll notice you. I notice all chicks. I just happen to notice that some are fat and ugly. Yeah. Thinking about going over to that new girl's house and asking her to come with me to Satrum's party tonight. Isn't she a plumper? Yeah. And when she gets drunk, she's all about putting out. <laughs> you don't even know her name. Don't worry about it. I'll just play it cool. I always do. Can I help you? Uh, I was wondering if uh, your daughter was around. Which one? Um, uh, the husky one. Now a girl can buy padded bras or hunks of rubber to stuff in her bra to push her breasts up and make them look fuller. And to give her confidence. Now what does the size of your chest have to do with confidence? We wouldn't have to wear padded bras if guys didn't judge us by our chest and our bodies. And girls think we judge them entirely by their appearance. Well, I put girls into two categories. Puts out and doesn't put out. And then I got subcategories. Puts out with big tits, doesn't put out but has nice legs. You see, I have a chart at home. <laughs> yeah, but a great personality can make a girl a lot more attractive. I mean, they could have fake everything. Fingernails, implants, and padded bras. I mean, it's crap! Plus the panties that lift her ass five centimeters. All this because she needed confidence. And guys don't realize. You can't see a guy's parts the way you can see a woman's breasts. A padded bra just levels out the playing field. What would a girl do if a, 
She dropped the guy's pants only to find that he had socks stuffed in his crotch. I mean, not to make his penis look bigger, but to give him more confidence. Or a strap on dildo. Yeah. It's fine for a girl to wear a padded bra, but the second I want to wear a strap on, all of a sudden I'm a freak? Freak boy with a strap on dildo! Yeah, girls really are shallow. Do you want to wear a strap on? Yeah, but dude, do you know how expensive they are? Cheap ones are like 70 bucks, even with my discount. Nah, man, if I get one, I'm gonna get one at like a secondhand store or a, a yard sale or something. Maybe I could pick one up cheap. Well, hang on a second. Secondhand dildo? No, uh, I gotta go to the store and get some cups. I'll see you guys at my house, huh? Yeah. You better go see if they need help tapping that keg. I told my mom I was staying at your place so I could stay out all night. You still need to do that stuff, little boy? What's up? Hey. Hey, hey wait, where's yeah. Sachem? He went to get cups. Yeah. What were you guys doing? Nothing. Hoisting a few beers. Watching a couple pornos. Porn is like your only form of entertainment. No, it's more than entertainment. It's educational. Oh, do you ever learn anything? Nope. It all goes in one ear and right out the end of my Johnson. Oh, sweet. My brother says the best way to pick up chicks, just compliment their worst feature, you know? Because they're self-conscious. Like, if a girl is flat-chested, I should tell her she has a nice set of milkers? Yeah, uh, sort of. But try to say that she has nice breasts. It's a little better, because they just, they don't like the word milkers. Okay? Okay. All right, <clears throat> all you need to know. In the porn industry, we refer to her as barely legal. Right on. So, how many times can you have sex with a girl before it gets old? Four. Four! There it is. Four? That's ridiculous! Well, that's my opinion. Okay, well, why four? Well, that's when I always realized that I couldn't stand the girl, and I was paranoid that she'd get pregnant and ruin my life. Sage, tell Ronald about the girl you put in the trunk of your car there. So this girl says to me, right? Do you just want to watch me masturbate? She was a lesbian or something, right? She was, in fact, a bisexual. Why are you telling this story? What? You could leave. Oh, wait. That's right, you are leaving. Well, it'd be pretty hard for you to hear these stories when you're 3,000 miles away. That's what this is about. You're mad that I'm going to grad school. Are you jealous that I'm trying to do something with my life rather than trying to relive college? How long can you do that? I know sometimes you joke, but right now you just want to hurt me. And that's selfishness. And if you really loved me, like you'd say, you'd be happy for me. Jules. You're an asshole. I think this party is going to be way better than that dance. That's all high school kids anyway. They have liquor here. I really don't like beer as much. I've got a bottle right here. You have a bottle. What is it? Can I have some? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he regrets all that stuff that he did. Plus, look, he never liked or cared about any of those girls. Well, it's like he's pushing me away. I mean, why would he tell those stories? Look, he just doesn't want me.